when you think of soccer in the state of Colorado, what comes to mind? Well, I've been involved with it since, well, since I first came here in 96. Um, I left for a couple of years, but, you know, the, the past 10, 15 years, I've been involved with all aspects of the professional game, the, the amateur game, the college game, and the youth game. And so it, it's grown immensely here in the, in the state. You know, you have the, your DA academies here, um, and they're playing on a high level. They're, they're taking a lot of kids from the national team um, you know, into their program. So, and e even on the girls' side, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of girls that uh, have, have played with the youth teams and also for the full team. And so, yeah, it's, Colorado is a hotbed for soccer, and especially youth soccer, and it, it's growing. And hopefully, uh, we can be a part of that and keep keep things going and going and growing in, in the state of Colorado. And community is a big part of soccer, and it's really bigger than the game. Uh, what does the community around the sport mean to you? Yeah, we've, we've seen it develop here in, the, in in Colorado. Like, you know, I was I was involved with the Rapids in 96, uh, that f the first year, and we saw it grow. You know, they built their own stadium here, and now, and now the, 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 the growth in, in the state of Colorado is immense. You can see it in, in, in colleges, in the youth, in the professional game. You know, you know we, we've come along here. This is our fourth season here. and. It's grown here, We're trying to build a culture here uh, w with soccer. Uh, they've got a good youth program here with, with Colorado Pride here. And so we just we, we want to continue to, to, to try and develop that and to grow the game in Colorado. Okay. And you've been an integral part of the past and the future of soccer in Colorado. And you've touched on it a little bit with um, talking about the youth developmental academies coming up and being with the Rapids. But um, what do you see the future holding for soccer in Colorado specifically? I see it keep to keep growing. Uh, it, you know, the, the, the clubs are expanding. There's there's more clubs that are trying to get to that next level, and ho and hopefully we can be that sedge in be in between that. Uh, you know, hopefully we can help help it grow, especially here in the springs. You know, now with this affiliation with the Rabbits, now we can look at the the whole state of Colorado and help it grow uh, throughout the whole state. You talk about getting to the next level, um, and just this year in the USL, seeing other teams benefit from having a partnership with an MLS team. Um, how do you think this is going to help the switchbacks be even more competitive in the USL championship next season? Yeah, you know, it, for me, it, it makes total sense. You know, I've, I've had a good relationship with them the past four years and been able to bring in loan players. Now this make it make this makes it official, and uh, and we're going to work together. You know, I've, I've talked to their coaching staff and and the people that are going to be kind of go between, and it's going to be a good relationship. I see, I've seen it work in the in the USL. Uh, some teams, you know, think of think of their development a little bit different, but for me. You know we have to win, and, and hopefully adding quality players here that that we can get back into the playoffs. Yeah, and you've talked about it too with um, being associated with Colorado soccer at the pro level, as a player, as an assistant coach, as a head coach, and within the youth setup. Uh, Try to describe your experiences in terms of where the game was in Colorado in 1996, as well as with the startup of MLS um, to where it is now. Oh yeah, well so if you look if you look back to '96. You know, there were no de developmental academies. Uh, that's just been around for the past about the past ten years, and so it's grown big time here. You know, you got your, you got your Colorado Rapids, you got your Colorado Rush, you got your uh, Real Colorado. You have Pride down here that are involved with the academy, and so it, it's grown throughout the state. Uh, and I and I see and I've seen it, you know, go to another level. Uh, you know, this is one of the states that U.S. Soccer does look at it as for national team players, whether that's on the on the boys side or on the on the girls side. And there's, there's, there's top coaches in this in the state. I've seen it. Um, I know a lot of them. And they're developing these kids for that next level. And hopefully we can, we want to be a part of that. Uh, we want to be a part of helping the Rapids, you know, get to that next level also, uh, get another championship for them. And so hopefully we can work together and it, it's all positive. And what does this affiliate, affiliation mean for both the Switchbacks and the Rapids moving forward? Yeah, there, I think there's a lot of go-between. Uh, you know, we've, we've talked about it, how th this makes sense for both parts. Uh, and and for me, you know, we, we need to win. That's that's a bottom line for me. And with a, with bringing in quality players, whether that's uh, some of their younger players or possibly some of the first team players, are going to need a game here and there. You know, we're going I'm going to take use that to my my full advantage next year. And uh, and uh, I want to get back to the, the playoffs. And I know that I know the players do too. And ho and hopefully we can keep developing their players. I think winning is a part of development. And if we can win here, we can help help them develop their players.